Ladies and gentlemen, today we are addressing the most common questions about the ultimate internet security tool that money can buy. That would be the YubiKey Hardware Security Key. Now today I'll answer the most common questions and help you get the most out of your YubiKey or help you decide which YubiKey is right for you if you're looking to buy one. So let's go ahead and dive in with the first question, which of course is the prerequisite what YubiKey is right for me or for you? And this is arguably the first question that every person is gonna ask when it comes to YubiKey hardware security keys. And it makes perfect sense. You wanna make sure that you get the best possible key for your own unique needs. So Yubico, the company that produces YubiKeys, has a fantastic tool on their website that uses your selections as to what devices and services that you use to kind of recommend to you the best key for your own unique needs. However, if you want my own, personal advice on this topic as a person who has one of every single YubiKey that has ever been made, and yes, I am totally crazy, I believe that the average user will get the absolute best possible experience by getting one of the YubiKey 5 Series keys. Why is that? Because the 5 Series keys have the maximum compatibility with different security protocols, including those required for the Yubico Authenticator app, which I'm going to talk about in a few minutes. Furthermore, these YubiKey Series 5 keys are available in a variety of configurations that are compatible with mobile devices like iPhone and Android, as well as your computer. So you can get one that really does all of the things you want it to do. For example, my daily driver is a 5C NFC, which works with a tap to my iPhone and plugs right into my MacBook USB-C port. And I think it's the perfect combination. Next question. How do I use YubiKeys with computer login tools? Now again, this requires a Series 5 key with max compatibility, but you can download the companion software required to use your YubiKey as a login method for your Windows computer. And I'll leave a link to this information about those login tools and how to get them set up in the description if that's something that you would be interested in setting up. Now, one of the holy grail questions, one that I always talk about, is how do I use Yubico Authenticator for two-factor authentication? Now, Yubico Authenticator is one of the most powerful yet underutilized features available to YubiKey owners. What Yubico Authenticator does is serve as an interface to your YubiKey or secure hardware, letting you securely generate standard time-based one-time password or TOTP codes for logging into a variety of web services that utilize two-factor authentication. Now the process to use this app could not be any easier. You download the app on your phone or your computer, you plug in or tap your YubiKey, you scan the QR code or you type in the raw secret that each web service is gonna give you to add 2FA and you're done. You confirm the code and you're done. This is a process that's pretty much familiar to you if you've used Google Authenticator before. Now the hidden benefit here, besides the security that this affords you, is that your 2FA codes are then tied to your YubiKey device and not your phone. So as long as you have your YubiKey, you can securely generate two-factor authentication codes on your friend or family's phone. This is something I do all the time on my wife's phone when I forget mine. Remember, this feature is available on Yubico Series 5 keys. And this always begs the question, what happens if I lose my key? And I've lost my fair share of things in my lifetime, so I know that this happens to everyone. And if you lose your YubiKey, the most important thing to do first is to deregister that lost key from any accounts that you have them registered to, so the key can no longer be used to get into your accounts. Now, if this was your only key, this also means that you're going to have to reset these account login processes to get back in without your key. And most, if not all, web services that have a process to recover an account with lost hardware keys or 2FA are going to be able to help you with this. However, if you follow best practices in keeping a spare or backup key, you can simply log right back in, remove the lost key from the account, and keep moving right along with your backup now as your primary key. So when you buy a YubiKey, buy a pair of them instead. And so that being said, let's talk about setting up a spare key next. Now this question is basically, can I duplicate or clone my YubiKey? How do I set up a spare key as a backup? So it's really important to have a spare YubiKey because hey, things happen. People lose stuff all the time. But if you have a spare, you can avoid the headache of recovering accounts manually in the event that your key is lost or stolen. So to set up a spare key, you have to consider first what services that you're using. So for any service that uses Yubico's standard security protocols, the process of making a spare is very simple. And by the way, all the services that use these standard security protocols are listed in the works with YubiKey list, which I will again link in the description below. 
To create a spare on these services, you just follow the same process you use to register your first primary key and do the same thing for the second as a backup. It's pretty much as simple as plugging in the key and following on-screen prompts. Now, if you're using Yubico Authenticator, which relies on OATH TOTP, a third-party protocol, the process is gonna differ slightly. You're gonna to have to manually scan or enter the secret, often represented as a QR code on the application you're adding to FA4 onto two YubiKeys, one after the other on your device. Now I have a detailed video on how to set up 2FA like this on Yubico Authenticator and how to create a backup in a video that I will link on the screen in the description. So the next question is, can I use my YubiKey with my bank, my cryptocurrency exchange account, etc.? And the answer is yes. Many cryptocurrency exchanges like Kraken and Coinbase allow you to use YubiKeys for highly secure authentication on the platform. However, at the moment, there are very few banks that support YubiKeys, which is a real shame. So you should send your bank a message and let them know that they should support YubiKeys for their own customer security. That being said, this is where Yubico Authenticator really shines because for banks that support standard TOTP two-factor authentication, you can simply use Yubico Authenticator to manage that one-time password generation. And if you're a crypto holder on one of the supported exchanges, I highly recommend that you set up YubiKey support just for that peace of mind that it's gonna afford you that your account is secure. The next question is, is it safe to leave the YubiKey Nano in my computer? Now the YubiKey Nano is the smallest form factor key that sits very flush to the frame of your computer. And as such, it's the only key that you can safely leave even semi-permanently in your device with minimal risk of breakage. Not zero risk, but minimal risk. The one thing you have to consider though is that when you're in public, you can't forget that you have the key in your device and just leave it sitting unattended. That would be a security issue. Next question. I just received my key. What do I do? How do I set it up? Do I have to register my key with Yubico? So the first step in a new Yubico, Yubiki or Yubico owner's list should be to make a list of online accounts that support YubiKey and to note whether you will use Yubico Authenticator for those or standard YubiKey login protocols, the sort of plug and play. Then you follow the setup guide in the description of this video to register both primary and secondary backup keys on each of these services. If you're wondering how to best get started, what you should do very first, ahead of everything else, I would recommend starting with Gmail, as that's the root of most hacking incidents, and it's super easy to set up and secure with YubiKey. Now, the next question is, how many TOTP codes can I store on a YubiKey? And this one's nice and quick. If you're using Yubico Authenticator, the app, you got a compatible YubiKey in the 5 Series, you have 32 TOTP codes you can use. Do the security key series keys, the blue ones, work with the Yubico Authenticator app? It's another question I see all the time. And the answer is no. The security key series only supports FIDO protocols, F-I-D-O, and the Authenticator app uses the O-A-T-H protocol, which we talked about before. And it's only allowed and included in the YubiKey 5 series keys, and then the legacy multi-protocol keys. So that kind of goes back to the earlier topics around what key to get, and what Yubico Authenticator compatibility looks like. So you can pick the best key for the job. Again, I really love these five series keys, either the 5C NFC or the standard 5CI for the iPhone. You got your USB-C and then your lightning connector for the iPhone. Why the iPhone doesn't have USB-C? I don't know, ask Apple. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video today answering the most common questions around YubiKeys, what you should get, how they work, what you should do to get them set up, how do you set up a spare. If you have other questions about YubiKey, let me know in the description, or sorry, let me know in the comments below, or you can shoot me a tweet as well at at 4 and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you and your family have a wonderful week ahead, and until next time, cheers.